Okay, so I have with me a box of standard high density IBM formatted floppy disks. Okay, so um, these disks can be used for a number of things, including Amiga uh, high density disks, but they have to be handled a certain way. So right now I'm just going to show you how to use one of these disks to format for 880K uh, double density uh, Amiga <clears throat> with the Grease Weasel. So I'm going to put this over here. And the main thing you have to remember is that the computer won't care, but the drive, if you're using a drive that um, pays attention, which most drives will, uh, you need to cover this. You need to cover this side. This one over on this side is okay because it's just the read-write protection and you can just switch it. But there's usually on the other side that shows that it's a high density disk, um, a hole here. All you need to do, it's very simple. Um, you could use some tape, some scotch tape as I have here and just tape over it. Once you do that, the drive will recognize it as a double density disk, even though it's a high density disk, it will be recognized as a double density disk and therefore um, will be used and formatable as such. So as you can see, what I have here is um, a stack of grease weasels four drives because that's what the emulator can do for you is four drives the win ua emulator will allow you to add up to four uh, floppy drives which makes it very convenient uh, because you won't need to flop swap disks um uh, so for like games and other things uh in installations, you won't need to swap disks near as much. Um, there are quite a few installations that actually go beyond the four floppies, so you might still need to do a little bit of swapping, but um, generally you won't need to swap too much uh, because you'll have four, because if you have four drives like I have here, and um, it's just convenient that way. So once you put now you now I can put the disk in one of my drives, and um, when I format it, um, I'm going to. It's formatted for an IBM. So when I format it, first I'm going to use the Grease Weasel tools, either the GUI or the command line, to um, apply an, an Amiga image uh, to it for uh, double density. And once I do that, then the system, the WinUA system, will recognize it as an 880K floppy. Now um, that we have taped over the indicator to the drive that sh says that it is a high-density disk, the drive now thinks it's a double density disk. The, the problem is it is um, a disk that is supplied pre-formatted to the IBM compatible um, high density standard. And so basically what we need to do is we need to, um, we need to change that. Uh, it needs to be a double density disk, right? So basically, we're going to use the Grease Weasel tools to um, restore an image, basically image it to a double density standard, because typically how the software detects that it's double density is by the first track of the disk. And the problem with, even though the drive will recognize it as double density, the first track of the disk is still formatted 
um, HD format. So what we're going to do is we're going to download some pre-imaged uh, double density disks and um, certainly if you don't want to use these pre-imaged pre, uh, image files you could use a standard double density disk from your library and use the read um, to read the file um, read the image into your uh, into your library and then um, use that as an image so but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our support page and we're gonna go to the grease weasel drive and we're gonna go to software and now here we have some empty floppy images that are pre-image floppies they're in ADF format, which is fine. Grease Weasel will uh, be able to read that, no problem. So this download is a zip archive. So we're going to go ahead and click that to open it. And um, then we're going to extract that because it's still in the zip archive file. And we will need it um, as individual image files. And um, I'm going to just extract it to the downloads folder um, because that's fine. You, you certainly could put it in a different location. Maybe uh, maybe you have a special location for uh, Im disk images and you could put it there. Um, but for now, I'm just um, extracting it to the downloads folder. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to our... Uh, Back to our G-Weasel GUI, and um, we're using device 11. Now, I have four Grease Weasel devices because it um, allows me to use multiple drives, and um, that way I don't have to uh, do disk swapping uh, as frequently. And this is the details of the Grease Weasel device. What we're going to do is write because we have an image on our hard drive and we want to push it to the drive. So we're not going to use IBM 1440 because IBM 1440 is what it probably already is right now uh, because it came pre-formatted. So we're going to use uh, the Amiga DOS format the non-HD Amiga DOS because we are trying to use this disk as a double density. Uh, we're trying to use an HD disk as a double density. So now um, these arrows are pointing to the left indicating that we are going to push this to the Grease Weasel drive because we're doing it right. So we're going to select an existing image file off of our disk drive, off of our local hard drive. And um, I already have an empty ADF, but assuming we're going to use the download, I'm going to go to downloads. And here is the empty ADF folder that was extracted from our archive. And when I go in here, there's a, another folder in there. I'm going to select my image. It's nicely labeled here. So we're going to do double density, right? Um, we'll just do double density FFS. Now FFS, if you don't already know, means um, is the fast file system, uh, Amiga DOS. And OFS is the old file system. And we also have HD formats in here. We'll get into that in another video. Uh, for now, what we're trying to do is uh, rewrite the image on the disk from the IBM format of 1440, right, the HD format, and replace it with a double density format. So track zero reads as a double density value. And um, it's already set to ADF, so that's why we can see these ADFs. In case when you first open it, it is not set to ADF, you'll not see any files there. Um, 
it will often default to A to R, which is not what we, uh, not what we're accessing. So once you select ADF, the program GWeasel GUI will remember that you used ADF, and next time you open it, will try to use that same format. Um, so it's persistent. When you use it once, it's going to be it's going to persist, and then you can select a different format, and it will remember that as well. So we're going to go ahead and open this empty DD, empty double density FFS ADF. And there we go. Now we see this is the folder uh, and file that we're going to push. See the arrows? We're going to push to the, the floppy, the grease weasel floppy. And um, we're going to use the format type of Amiga Amiga DOS. And we're going to go ahead and execute this command. Now there's an, another way to do that, and I'll sh to do this rather than writing an empty image. There's another way to do it, and I'll show you in just a minute. So now I'm going to run my Win UAE, and I'm going to load my A4000 from back in the 1990s. And uh, let's see, the floppy drives are set to uh, four floppy drives, like I said. I only have one uh, disk in the drive. It should be DF2. I'm going to go ahead and start. It's checking all the drives for disks, but there is only one drive with a disk. All right, here we are. Now, here is our disk that we made, MTDDFFS. You will see now it is double density, 879 kilobyte free. Um, if you experience read write issues read write errors you may want to reformat it from within the amiga so like if i take something and i copy it on there let's see if if it gives me an error yes there's an error so let's go ahead and highlight that and format it inside the Amiga emulator. So 880K capacity. And do not do the quick format, because that will not reset everything for us. So we'll go ahead and format it. All right. So now it is labeled empty because that is the label we gave it, in, uh, we renamed it. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy a file there. It's 833 kilobytes, so I'm going to pick something similar. I'm going to take this 703 and copy it on there. Amy TCP bin. So... <clears throat> At this point, you should have successfully um, created uh, you created a brand new floppy uh, formatted for double density on an IBM HD floppy. Um, there is another method that can be used for doing this. And um, it, it generally has the same principles. You still need to um, cover the hole with, the, with something, such as the scotch tape I showed earlier. But you can, uh, and you still need to format it 
inside the uh, Amiga emulator. But you can skip the uh, blank imaging if you set your uh, Grease Weasel Tools drive to only uh, allow double density disks. Um, because when you set your Grease Weasel to only allow double density disks, it will not try to figure out what format the drive is, and therefore it will not try to read track zero and determine, oh, this is an H uh, high density disk. And so if you do that, um, then it will just format it double density. I just like to have mine set to uh, detect HD and double density because I like to use both HD and double density. And so um, obviously you could switch it to double density only and then format it inside the Amiga UA, the Win UAE, and then switch it back to double density, which would do a similar uh, method. And I will show you in just a minute as soon as this successfully copies. But at this point, we should have a successful double density disk created from an, a, an IBM HT disk. And in this way, um, you can uh, have new floppies. The, the problem with old floppies is that over time, they develop errors. And so you may need to get new floppy disks um, to replace the old floppies. And um, we can see this is almost done. And so um, the other easy thing would be to take one of uh, my predefined images that I have backed up and just restore it to it. But that is a different, a different purpose. This purpose was to create a brand new floppy and successfully copied that file. And so the file is there. So now I'm going to, uh, one last thing. Um, we are pretty much at the end of this. So we're going to show you in the WinUAE how you could you do the alternate method. So we go over here to the floppy drives. We have all our four drives. So this one is drive three. In drive three, we're going to choose configure floppy bridge. And we have, again, all the drives. We're going to edit drive three. So here is where it's automatically detecting. If we set it to double density only, then um, we can we can skip the other step of imaging the disk with an empty empty image. But we will still need to format it inside the WinUAA. And then if we want to be able to use both double density and HD disks, we will have to come back and do and change it back. So um, Then we will need to come back and change this back again. We'll have to go back into drive three and say, oh, we want it, we want it to do auto detect again and save that and then OK. And then um, update here. So um, I tend to prefer to do the imaging, but it's up to you. There, there are, and, you know, there's always more than one way to do something. And um, that was uh, that concludes this video on how to use an HD disk um, in with your Grease Weasel um, to create a brand new uh, double density uh, disk for use in um, restoring images or inside uh, the WinUA emulator.